The Jews were the largest ship channelers in the entire Caribbean region. Where is this in history? Now, Seymour B. Lehman wrote this in his book. This man did his research. And he's very proud of who he is. And I'm not mad at him. All right, all right, all right. We got this guy here. He is the author of this book I'm going to be doing. And, I mean, I don't hate these people. And a lot of these people know that I don't hate them. But these other people who know that I don't hate them, they would try to use my information and say, oh, you're being anti-Semitic. I'm like, Kyrie, how in the hell can I be anti-Semitic? It's impossible. You can't be anti-self. Anyway, let's continue on. This guy right here, his name is uh, Seymour B. Liebman. And he is the author of New World Jewelry. New World Jewelry. Now, this guy, when he wrote this book, he was extremely proud when he wrote this book. Very, very proud. I don't blame him. I'd be proud of myself, too. I'm going to read uh, this here. I'm going to let me go ahead and center this on the screen so you can get to it. I'll put it there. You can go ahead and read about him. Yep. He's a very proud guy of what he's done and what he's learned. And I'm not mad at him. I'm really glad he did what he did. I'm glad he, he created this book. All right. This is the cover page of this book. New World Jewelry, 1493 to 1825. 1493. Now, remember, these people told you that Christopher Columbus was a Jew. In my first video, video coming back, and we talked about the Nina. All right. We're going to start on chapter seven of this book. We're only going to do three pages out of this book. And chapter 7 on page 131. Let's get into it. Let's go ahead and zoom in so we can see what's going on here. All right, let's get it there. Okay, there we are. All right. This is talking about some Jews that was kicked out of Spain. Okay, so what? We got Jews kicked out of Spain. But it's about where they sent them. They sent them down to San Tome or the Tome Islands, which is off the coast of Africa just below Nigeria. What? Yeah, they sent a lot of Africans. I mean, they sent a lot of Jews. They kicked them out of Spain. But let's go ahead and read about it. And let's see what kind of Jews these might have been. Let's see. The Spanish Jews were permitted to remain in the country for only eight months, except for some 600 families whose stay was extended because of each of the families paid 100 crucidos of gold for the privilege. Okay, they had somebody to pay to stay. Okay. All right, uh, the king promised to supply ships at the expiration of eight month period, but each person was to pay his own passage. All right, they, now this is the kind of stuff they do. They kick your ass out of where you where you live, and you got to pay to get kicked out. <laughs> you got to pay for your own your own demise, pretty much. Sounds familiar. I do that over here too, somewhere. Okay. During the eight month period, many Jews who had not paid the entry fee, or who were illegal immigrants were caught and sold as slaves. Hmm. All right. This was way back then. And we know that slavery was going on back then. Okay. Who was being enslaved back then? And these people who were being enslaved, they was able to send them down to Africa and they kind of blended in somewhat. Hmm. Get that picture right. Many young ch children, especially those whose parents had been sold as slaves, were deported to the island of San Tome. San Tome. You really, really need to look that up. Let's keep moving here. Let's finish this up. Most of the children were between three and ten years of age. In San in San Tome, they were re they were reared as Catholics. All right. Now that's something to think about. They're kicking the Jews out. They, they took their children from them. They kicked them out. They sent them to an island just. To, just the innocent ones from three to ten years old said, and they turn them into Catholics. This is why a lot of y'all kneel to that wooden cross to this day. To this day. All right, this is the final page of this book. This is on page 183. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, there's some, some crazy stuff here, brother. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at here, here at first. 
go ahead and take a look at this here. Let's see what we got. The Jews were the largest ship channelers in the entire Caribbean region. Where is this in history? Well, B. Lehman wrote this in his book. A book, by the way, we didn't think nobody was going to be reading. We weren't going to be reading this book, right? Okay. The Jews were the largest ship channelers in the Caribbean region, where the shipping business was mainly a Jewish enterprise. I'm telling y'all people, the reason these people can throw anti-Semitism on you so quickly and get away with it is because they still have us in captivity. Oh no, it's crazy. No, we're free. If we were free, we'd be making them trillions, them trillions that they're making. Or we'll be able to have free, true freedom of speech. Look at what's going on. You can't say anything without these people coming back. Oh no, anti-Semitism. And the world bows down to that shit. The Jews were the largest ship channels in the entire Caribbean region, where the shipping business was mainly a Jewish enterprise. The Jews were the principal purveyors to the government, although there, although there never were more than 2,000 Jews in Caracol. I guess this is Caracol. Cor 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 I'm going to say in Caraco. Yeah, you figure it out. It is, it is conservatively estimated that the Jews owned about 200 vessels during the first 60 years of their settlement in Caraco, whatever that is. This is out in the, in the islands in the Caribbean. The Jeshurun family alone, just as one family, alone owned 100 ships selling the seven seas in the 1800s. Now, a lot of these people out there, and especially out in the Caribbean, oh, we ain't black. You look just like me, got the same damn blood I got. Oh, no, no, we're Spanish. <laughs> read, people. Read and find what you're claiming. Read. Let's move it up a little bit. That was enough right there, actually. But I'm, I'm going to read this because I've already uh, got a highlight. And we're going to go and end this video. Um, I already got a highlight it, brother. Uh, the ships were not only owned by Jews, but were manned by Jewish crews and sailed under the command of Jewish captains. This is a Jewish man writing this book now. This is not metamorphosis. You're not here trying to throw some, throw some shade on somebody, on, on a people. These people owe us an apology. In fact, I, I demand an apology from the ADL, and then we should demand, we should demand our reparations from them. And check this out. That little thing that, that, that happened to them over in Germany, they didn't have shit to do with us. Nothing to do with us. Why are we always uh, uh, apologizing when they're the ones who should be apologizing to us? You see the shit that they did to us? Okay, who's uh, going in a little too strong again there? All right. Let's finish this up. Many of the ships were engaged in bringing slaves from Africa to the 13 colonies, the British islands in the Caribbean and the Spanish colonies. Know, uh, yeah, we're done with this one right now. For now, I'm going to come back and we're going to do some more in this book. See, these old books are very important. And these people are starting to get, get uh, hooked on us doing what we're doing. And again, thank you, Kyrie. Reading is my superpower. Shalom. I said I was going to uh, show you guys the bibliography. And you can see all of the resources. This book is full. It is full of things that we were not supposed to read. Bibliography. I shall not say things we're not supposed to read. We wasn't expected to read. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. Let me take a look at some of this stuff here. This man did his research. If you need to pause, you can. I'm going to go to the whole thing. This man did his research. And he's very proud of who he is. And I'm not mad at him. I'm very happy. I didn't read this. Not yet. 
I just want you guys to get an idea of what's in this book. This is the end of the video. You can go ahead and end it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna uh, bring out anything other than for those who wants to go and take a look at this here, the sources. Here they are. It's a lot of them. <laughs> this, this man did some research. So therefore, the things that I brought out on this video. Remember, I didn't research it. This guy, he's smarter than I am, so to say. Man, and look at all of these different other books I'm going to be going into. Woo, buddy. There's a lot of books. There's a lot of reading doing this here. And the job I do, I, I can't be reading all the time. I have to keep focus. I have to stay focused. I cannot be reading a book. We're still going. You think reading's not a superpower yet? These people know reading is a superpower. That's why they put so much in books. Look at this, still going. This is gonna make the video too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this here right now. Uh, let's see, uh, this is books. Let's go in here. Uh, I was gonna end it, but anytime I see books, I get a little a little excited. So we'll let those books come across. Oops, I don't want that. Sorry about that, people. What the hell happened there? Let's let you see these books. Next thing, you just pause the video whenever you need to. You want to see something that you need to go find. Okay, now I think this is a good time to go ahead and end this. It's just too much. I don't, I don't have a whole lot of time to keep going, scrolling up these pages, up and down these pages. Anyway, you guys get the gist of this. We were put in captivity by the same people that owns the, N the NBA. The same people that owns Nike, the same people that own all of these major companies. And this is why that, that lady, what's her name? Uh, I forgot her name. Uh, shit, it's good I forgot her name. Anyway, the one that uh, came up with the Planned Parenthood thing. You know, check it out. I, I dropped a few things out on TikTok. It was kind of an attest. I, I, in fact, I need to bring those over here on YouTube. Anyway, peace and blessings to you all. Take care. Shalom.